Comedian. You know, I've been hearing this new term, femalist. Sounds fancy, right? Like a feminist who went to Harvard or something. But here's the deal, femalist is actually all about equality. Not Queen Beyonce running the world while the guys are sitting in the corner with a juice box kind of equality. No, it's supposed to be gender equality, not female domination. Now, don't get me wrong. Ladies, you deserve to be treated like queens. Absolutely. And not just the Netflix and chill queens. I mean the full package, love, respect, all that jazz. But here's the plot twist, if you're the queen, then the guy's gotta be the king, right? Not the court jester, not the royal chauffeur, the king. Equality means if you're getting your crown, he should be getting his, too. You can't be demanding a throne and then giving him a plastic lawn chair. Let's be real here. You can't expect him to treat you like Meghan Markle while you're out here treating him like he's a contestant on The Bachelor, trying to win your rose. You gotta put in the work too. Relationships are a two-way street, not a one-way expressway to Queen's Castle. And here's the kicker, it's not just about opening doors or paying for dinner. I'm talking emotional support, mutual respect, and yes, maybe letting him have the last slice of pizza once in a while. It's not about female domination, it's about equality, balancing those royal scales. Because if one of you is up on a pedestal, and the other's crawling around down below, that's not equality, folks. That's a power imbalance, and nobody needs that in a relationship. So remember, being a femalist is about making sure both the king and queen have a seat at the table, no crowns getting knocked off, no thrones being hogged. Just two people ruling their little kingdom together. Now that's what I call a royal deal.